Right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel once again. This is the Bosch Reacts, and uh, myself and James today are yeah. going to be reacting to American Candy, or as we call them over here, sweets. 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 We call them American sweets. The thing is that we call Americans call everything candy, whether yes. it be chocolate, whether it be chewing gum, yes. whether it be sweets, and yet we differentiate. Yeah. We call chocolate chocolates. So we've got categories. We've got categories, and everything in America is candy. So I got this box from Amazon UK uh, from a company called Heavenly Sweets. Uh, so thank you very much, Heavenly Sweets. And uh, they came with a little leaflet here that says, Packed by Laura, with a little kiss. Thanks, Laura. Um, yeah, so what we're going to be doing today, I have no idea what we are going to be trying, because producer Michelle has decided to take it on herself to decide what we're going to be trying today. Um, so, shall we just get straight down and get straight, into it? So, down, producer Michelle, down. the first item, please. Thank you. A Tootsie Roll. Now, I've heard of these. Oh, I had one. Do you know what? I, I don't think it's for some reason. I thought they were bigger than this. Yeah. It's, uh, it's quite tiny, that. It's uh, a Tootsie Roll. And I, I don't know what your eyes are like, Jim, but can you actually see what it says that is? Because I'm old and I can't see these things. No. So do you want to just open it and we'll see what it is? It's peanut free and gluten free, I tell you that. Oh, well, there you oh, go. Yeah, we'll go down there. the ingredients. It's sugar, corn syrup, palm oil. Oh, good healthy stuff. Condensed skim milk. Cocoa, wheel. So it's chocolate, basically, it's chocolate isn't it? Basically, right. and loads of loads of artificial and natural flavours. Come on, then, let's open it up. A Tootsie Roll. First time I've ever tried one of these. Oh, it's in this? little segments. It's not you. Know, that's just one block. Oh, it's one block. We will have the implement it uh, ready and see what it looks like. Oh, that looks tough. So. That looks to me, is it like nugget oh, in the middle of it? Smell it. Oh, it's very chocolatey. No, that is just the way it has been It looks, it looks, it's basically, is it just like, it's not chocolate at all, is it? No. It's just like a toffee. It looks like toffee or fudge. Or fudge, yeah. Anyway, Tootsie Roll, let's try it. Oh, I can't really keep it. Wow. Trying to quit it. Quite a taste that. Mmm. It basically is like a um a toffee. Have we got anything similar to this in the UK? Not with that taste, no. <laughs> You're not keen, are you not? No. No. I do, do you know what? I don't actually mind that. It's not too sweet. It is it is very mind you, I suppose it's the weather eater day, it's freezing eater day, so it's not gonna be hot. But that is very tough. After taste. Mmm. What is the aftertaste? I'm trying to work out what it is. I don't know, but it's not nice. I don't mind that. I'm sorry for anybody who likes Tootsie Roll. That's horrible. No, I... Yeah, there's definitely a yeah. cocoa aftertaste there. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. So... Tootsie Roll, yes or no? No. I, I don't nah. mind that. I, I, could, I could eat that. That's not too bad. So, producer Michelle, next please. Mm. Oh, it's a Twinkie. Do you know what? I've always, always, always wanted to try a Twinkie. I know they're not very good for you, but what? it's a, a Hostess Twinkie, which, is, if I'm not mistaken, when I've read online, it is sort of a sponge out there with a, like a fondant center, I think it is. Something well, like we'll that. We'll soon find it? out. We'll soon find we'll out. We'll soon find out. This is a Twinkie. Oh, for Tootsie Roll. Now, this, this, this is basically an American institution. Yes. A, a you see them in all American movies. You do. Normally. And uh, you let me know in the comments down below. Uh, a hostess, the original manufacturer of Twinkies. Do you want this cut inside? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this in half this? and we'll try. Do you want to try a bit and produce a Michelle? No, she doesn't want to try a bit, so we'll just whack her in. Oh, very soft. There, uh, you, there you go, Jim. Here's cake. Is that fun, it or smells. It smells a bit citrusy. It does. Let's try. Oh, it's a bit like marshmallow. Mm. Is that a vanilla flavour? I don't know. It, it reminds me of um, lemon drizzle. Yeah. With a bit of cream on it. That's why when I said it sounded, it, it smelled a bit citrusy. 
Lemon drizzle. Quite on wrong here. Is there any lemon? No. Nope. There is no pattern information. There's no. Oh, right. Tootsie, Tootsie rolls normally come in big boxes. Do they? Right. Tootsie rolls. That's a twenty. That's a twenty. <laughs> that's a Tootsie roll. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. So. Same thing. Are you finished already? Yes. See we a little gob. Two bites happen. I'll translate. That means me with my small mouth. That, that, that whole cake we're doing is it? three bites. One, two, three. So, what do you think? That's nice. I'd have another one of them. Yeah, another, mm. another six or seven. Another six or seven, my yeah, first. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do. I quite like that. It's just like a sponge cake with a. I thought it was like a, um, a marshmallow, but no, it's definitely more of a, it's a, cream, like a, a creamy fondant creamy type fondant. thing. Tastes a bit like lemon drizzle. Mmm. Lemon drizzle. Marks out to ten. Oh, I'd be about an eight. And I, would about an eight. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. I think that's about an eight. So, next, Mich uh, producer Michelle, what have we got now? Twizzlers. Oh, Twizzlers. Strawberry Twizzlers. Yeah. Strawberry Twizzlers. Ah, what, what's that say? I can't see. My eyes are getting worse. Artif artificially flavoured. Oh, artificially flavoured. Well, of course. So is it like a, like a, our licorice stick type thing? No, no, I don't think it has a licorice in it. I tell you when I open it. it doesn't say a lipper on the pot there. Doesn't say it well. We'll, we'll open it up and we'll have a look. Well, I'll open it up and have a smell. Oh, doesn't smell like licorice, but I tell you what, it's got a strong smell though, with. Strawberry laces? That's what I think it might be. We might yeah, still be shoelaces. Oh, is it in a bar? I thought it was no, in like. No, they're, uh, they're in little individual things, but they're all stuck together. Alright, fair enough. God, James, you can do it. Send the sweet lad in to get the sweets open. There you go, sir. Does producer Michelle want to try a bit? Yeah. Oh yes, very, very um, strawberry. Ray, 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 ray. It is like licorice. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so, uh, uh, strawberry licorice strawberry laces. laces. Hollow in the middle. It's hollow in the middle. Yes, if you bite both ends, it is ah. a straw. This, you, I think you just mentioned yes. it earlier, yes. Um, we are huge fans of the Big Bang Theory. And I do believe, is this what Michelle Dunn drinks is? is Something out of a straw. Like a, like a Nesquik milk thing, isn't it? Something like that. I'm sure he drinks drinking something. Oh no, I think, it, I think we might be wrong. We might be Kool-Aid out of a red vine. Kool-Aid? Kool-Aid. Out of a Twizzler. That's something we're going to have to try in another video. It smells... It smells like strawberry. Well, what I'm going to say is it smells a lot more flavourful than it actually is. Yes. When you taste it, there's not really a lot of flavour there. I can, um... I think I could probably happily leave that one. Yeah. Grandkids Sorry? Grandkids will like them. Grandkids will eat anything. Yeah. Uh, so that was uh, Twizzlers, strawberry flavoured Twizzlers. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon? Yeah, it was nice. I could do without a word. Mm. One's enough for me. I've got to stress that I am not really a sweet person. Uh, I don't really eat a lot of sweets. Not like um, my uh, youngest here, oh, who, who who eats a lot of sweets. Love them. So what have we got next, producer yeah, Michelle? Blue. There's no need to call us names. We're only asking <laughs> you. Blue raspberry airheads. Airheads. An airhead. An art oh, it's artificially flavoured again. Yeah. Blue raspberry airhead. Is this like um? It's, it's like a candy chew type thing. I think it's like a malwam. Yeah, no, not a malwam, a wam -bob. Oh my god, look, wam -bob. look at the colour of that. Well, they did say it was blue. Yeah, green. I was going to say, you can tell that's artificially coloured there. You might just be able to snap that. Do you reckon? It's very soft. Is it? It is very soft. Right, you have to cut it. Shall I cut it? And then, Michelle, would you like to grab a pair of scissors? Right, so, would you want to try some producer, Michelle? No. Nope. So it's just between me and... Let me grab that, and you grab that, and cut. Up. That was just put on, it wasn't really that tough. Oh, that's sound. Um, Whoa, that's a strong smell. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit like um, the old fashioned bubble gum that we used to get. Mm. <laughs> you have to come back out, come back out all. Oh, do you know what? Quite nice. That is quite nice. Mmm. 
There's definitely a bit of a blueberry tang there. Mm -hmm. So it is. It's just like a wham bar or a brew bar. Yeah. Wham. It's just a little bit softer. Mm, quite soft, yeah. Or, or a refresher bar. Mm. Where you just snap the refresher bar, that's a bit chewy. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely getting that blueberry tang. We're going to have a blueberry tang through it. Like. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So. Blue raspberry airheads. If it's blue raspberry, why has it got a picture of a red thing on? That's probably their logo. Is it? Alright. Well, I guess that's their logo. Looks like he's got a ring through his nose. <laughs> I do. <didn't laughs> like he's got a ring through his nose. Oh, I think it's a balloon. It's a balloon? That's a, that might be their logo. Airheads. Air rises. Oh, balloon. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. <laughs> right. Okay, marks out of 10 for that. Five. Five? Five, it was a bit soft. No, I'll give that a seven. I like something with a bit of crunch. Right, producer Michelle, what we got next? Cookie dough bites. Cookie dough bites. Now then, having watched lots of American programs, I've always seen loads and loads of things about cookie dough. They, they actually eat raw cookie dough, yeah. as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Do you think you could do that? Yeah. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> get some I, mean, I mean, you know you can get cookie dough ice cream, because we can get it here yes. as well. So it's a big, big thing in America is cookie dough. Uh, so this is creamy milk chocolate covered bite cookie sized dough cookie bites. dough in creamy milk chocolate. Egg free recipe. It's spot on because James is a little bit uh, dairy intolerant, yes. aren't you? Uh, try and frozen. Should put them in the freezer for half an no, hour. No, no, no. Our okay. freezer freezes everything too. Um, yeah, so who, who makes Pulpit. these? The original. <laughs> Made in the USA. Yeah. Are you sign going? Right, get them open. Let's try them. Open here. Before what do you think? Do you think we've got anything over here that could be possibly similar to these? I don't think so. They look a bit like chocolate raisins or something, but I know they're not going to be. Ooh, hold on. Smell that hole. Oh god, yeah, it smells... It does smell like cake, Recipe, uh, cake mixture, doesn't it? So, Just a few. Keep going. That'll do. Odd shaped. The very oddly shaped. I wonder if it be, be modelled on <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> yes. Rabbit droppings. Whoever creates cookie dough bites, please hit us up and tell us. Yeah. Do you own rabbits? They're very shifty. They're very what? Very shifty. Oh, looking. shifty. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> They're very shifty looking. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. These, these these will be gone. Producer Michelle is eating the rest of the <laughs> bag at the minute. Producer Michelle likes these. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Mine's trying to escape. Um, do you think, do you think, is it milk chocolate or is it dark chocolate? Milk chocolate. Oh, milk chocolate. It looks very dark. It, is, it is a registered trademark of Taste of Nature. Incorporated. Santa I'm Monica. Not, I'm not keen on the. Ali. I'm not keen on the actual texture when you bite into it. Mm. It's got sort of a a coating round it, like a crispy coating on the inside. Now these will go nice with cookie dough ice cream. Would they? Well, that's probably where they got the cookie dough ice cream flavour from. Top of cookie dough ice cream in a ball. Bag of these on the top. Mm. So all these years when I've been. Watching people eating cookie dough, and I've always thought to myself, I don't think I'd really like them. I was right, I don't really like that. Who can have that one? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of, uh, of of cookie dough bites or cookie dough in general, basically. So, marks out of ten, I would probably give that a four. Oh, I'd, I'd be about a nine. Oh, you reckon? Nine. Oh, yeah. Nine. We have very different tastes. I could stuff that whole box in minutes. Right. I'm going to have to have a swizzle. Uh, Get that taste out of my mouth. As producer Michelle finishes the bag. Right, what's ah. next, producer Michelle? Jolly Rancher Chews. Jolly Rancher Chews. So if I'm not mistaken, these come individually wrapped. Oh, cool. Covid special. Yep. But you are correct. Do you think these are a bit like um, what we... What we used to call opal fruits. Now starbursts. Now called starbursts. I think 
they are more like Mawam chews. Mawam chews. Yeah. Right. That sort of size. So there's definitely Inch, different Inch ones here. here. So right on we have. I'm guessing we have apple. Yep. Well, cherry, watermelon. Hang on, it, okay. it, it tells you on here. Okay. So that one's green I'm apple, sure. watermelon, cherry, blue raspberry. I think I think you put my glasses on and read that one. That is green apple. Right. That is cherry. That is watermelon. And that is blue raspberry. And that's the only ones in there. Yeah. Right. So I think I'm gonna try a watermelon. You wanna try a watermelon? I will go for a green apple. Let's see what they taste like. Let's see what they look like. Let's see what they look like. Oh, I definitely think these are going to be like um, Starbursts. No. No, they're not. They look more like a Malwam shoe. See, I'm, I'm, I'm older than you. I grew, I grew up with opal fruits. And if you get an opal fruit, you can squeeze an opal fruit. That's taking some effort to get that even yeah, you're right. crunch yeah. to anything. Yeah. And I don't think an opal fruit tastes this much. Are they, are they very fruity? The chill, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Oh, yeah. Once you start chewing, I hate you. Excuse the expression, but I'm going to have a suck first. Mm. Do you know what? The American watermelon tastes different to our. Oh no, actually, I'm, get, I'm getting it now. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, it's coming now. You got to, you got to chew on it a bit to get that flavour mm. release. Mmm. Made by the Hershey Company. Oh, Hershey. They make chocolate. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Jolly Ranchers. And Jolly Ranchers. The Jolly, Jolly Ranchers. I'm not sure whether I'm keen on that. It, there's definitely a watermelon taste there, but there's something else in the background. It's a bit like Mouldy Socks. <laughs> what the watermelon? Mm. Colours the watermelon, are we? I'll tell you what it is. See him sort of wrapping his um, There's definitely an aft <coughs> Cough it up. There's definitely an aftertaste there that I am not keen on. There's a watermelon so far. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to try one of the others yet. I'll, I'll stick with the opal fruits. Sorry, Starburst. Yeah, I don't get an aftertaste. Mm. I don't get an aftertaste on that. Must be me. So, what were they called? Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Ranchers. Marks out of ten. Seven. Five for me. In Pennsylvania. So, Laura. Next time, no Jolly Ranchers for me then. Yes, Jolly Ranchers, put them back in. No. I'll have them. Steal them. Right, Mr. Producer Michelle, what we got next? We're going to have a Laffy Taffy. A Laffy Taffy? Yes, with a joke. Oh, -ho. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have a look. We like a good joke. Oh, no. It's a banana. It's banana. banana flip. I don't, oh, I I don't, I don't know what it is. I love bananas, but I cannot stand anything banana flavoured. It's gonna, it be, just, it's gonna be banana toffee, I think. It, it does look like a banana. It says flavored with natural flavors. Natural flavors? It tastes mm. a lot like bananas. Jokes on every wrapper. So is it inside? Do you is think? it like a, is it like a penguin? Hey, <laughs> let's have a look. See if I can, can get the joke. Can Can you read anything on that wrapper? I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip the joke in half here. I know I am. It's not like a penguin bar. But well, might be like a penguin ball because uh, Bosch can't find the joke. See if we can find a joke on there. Here we go. Right. What type of fly loves bread? What type of fly loves, loves bread? bread? I don't know. Butterfly. Oh. <laughs> What bow can't be tied? Oh, two jokes! Yep, two Whoa. jokes. Whoa! spoiled. What bow can't be tied? What bow? A bow can't a be bow. tied. Can't be tied. Um, um, the bow of a ship. A rainbow. 
Oh, okay. It is. It is like a penguin bar. Your jokes are up here. Yeah. Your answers. Are below oh, the flat. Right, got you. Got you. Right. So, smell like banana. What do you think? Can't really it's not smell banana, smell. No. Do you want to try some of this? Pr- produce some Michelle. No, I'm sticking to the. You're sticking to the. <laughs> she's sticking, sticking to the, the cookie, cookie doors. Do you think I'm going to be able to cut this? It's a bit though. Oh yeah, it cuts quite well. I was going to see it. No, that bit. Do you know what? I'm just going to cut a little bit off this because I'm not keen on. Ooh, ooh! Smell the inside of it. The inside smells a bit more oh, like yeah, banana. Yeah, it does, does smell a bit more bananary. Still yucky. No. Ugh! It's not the worst banana flavored sweet I've had, but it's not the best. Oh god, what is it about banana and banana flavored things that I don't like? Can't stand banana flavors. Do you want that one? No. Do you want that one? No, I couldn't cope with that. Right, so it marks out of ten. Minus five million for me. A four. <laughs> four. A four. A four. A four. We get a banana toffee. Over here, yeah, that's a nice banana flavour. I don't like banana flavoured, like you, you know, when you go to McDonald's and you get a banana milkshake, Ooh, can't do that. Banana no, milkshakes, they still love them 100%. Basically, vanilla for me, Flan. right? We're gonna have the Hershey's milk chocolate. Ooh, oh, Hershey's ooh. milk chocolate. Now then, Hershey's. Do you think that American chocolate will be as good as English nope. chocolate? Nope. I mean, Cadbury's. You know, I don't, I don't. Let's just let's just compare. Let's just have a look at the thickness of yeah, the bar. The thickness, it's the taste. It's you all about the taste. You, Cadbury's is up here, yeah, however. Yeah. You get more chocolate out of Cadbury's. Cadbury's is all per, about the per, taste. First slice. I was going to say, I would try. I would love to be able to read what the in- ingredients are, but not. Uh, not only is it incredibly small, it looks like it's in Arabic. And you need glasses to read anything. Well, if you roll it over, all right. There's the ingredients in English. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it has milk chocolate flavour candy. Oh, oh, ah, hang on. Milk chocolate flavour. We can't be having that. It's yeah. either milk chocolate or not. Sugar skimmed milk powder. So it's not chocolate. Cocoa it's a chocolate mass, substitute. Cocoa butter, milk fat, vegetable oil. Right, enough. Let's get it open and have a look. Six layers long. So basically, you know when we buy like chocolate um, covered peanuts and stuff like that yeah. and it says chocolate flavour? That's what this is going to be like. So it's not real chocolate. Looks like real chocolate. Looks like real chocolate. Smells like real chocolate. Actually, no, it doesn't. It does smell like. Yeah, it smells like fake chocolate. Yeah. Oh no! Nah, good more. Nah. No. Put that one there. Do you know what? I feel like my life has been disappointed now. <laughs> I've waited all this time, all these years, to try a, a Hershey's bar, and I'm so disappointed. That just wasn't nice. Just not as good. Get yourself some Cadbury's chocolate. Or Galaxy. Or Galaxy. Proper chocolate. Marks out of 10. Hershey's chocolate. Zero. Yeah, I'll go Bin for that. It. I might give it a one because it, it, it did have quite a good texture. It just didn't have a very good taste. Wrap it. Right, producer Michelle, what have we got now? Warhead. She's calling us names again. Oh, yeah. Extreme. Oh, right. Sour. I've watched. I've watched these on YouTube. There are there, there's competitions to to see who can eat the sourest things in the world, and these are definitely up there amongst them. The survive sour. Savour the sweet. Oh no, savour the sweet or survive the sour. Hard candy. Do you think these come individually wrapped uh, again? It, feel, it feels like it. Yeah, it does feel like it when you feel the bag. I do like sour stuff. Oh, I love sour, I love sour. Individually wrapped? Individually yeah. wrapped. 
left, what we've got? We have apple. Apple. Watermelon. Again. Or yeah. black cherry. Um, I think I'm going to go for a black cherry. I think I will go for an apple. So these are supposed to be really, really, really sour. But not the sourest thing in the world. Have a look on YouTube. Oh, they are there, sucky sweet. There are sourer things on YouTube. Actually, there's no smell to there at all. Oh, yeah, that's sour. Right. My eyes water just then. Mate, I'm out of wood. Lock your nose. Holy Christ! I want to pass the court and it's lovely. Do you know what? <laughs> One. <coughs> Once you get past that initial sourness, that's, I think it's only a coating. Now that is what that is. Survive the sour, savour the sweet. If you want to get past the sour, have your yeah. sweet. It but is incredibly sour on the outside. It does blow your head off a little bit. Just but a little but bit. you know what? Once you get through the sourness, it's pretty bland. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yep. It does, it does make your eyes water the first time you put it in your mouth. <laughs> you take that whichever way you want, but yeah. Um, first time you put it in your mouth, your eyes are still warm. And apart from that, it's just, it's pretty dull. I'm not keen on, well, apart from the sour, I do like some uh, sour sweets. That was incredibly sour. On the, just, as soon as you put it in your tongue, you could feel it. Oh. As soon as you put it on your tongue. As as I, wish, you... I wish you could see producer Michelle here. She's actually in fits of laughter. As soon as you have close you want, to your mouth and Would you like to in. try one of these, Michelle? As soon as you breathe in with it close yeah. to your mouth, it hits. Do you know what? Goes. We're, we're keeping them for the grandkids. I'm going to give one of them to Charlie. Charlie's love it. By the way, Charlie's our, our little grandson. How old is he? Three. 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 Just turned three. And yeah, I think he would love that. My how many, how many more things have we got, Michelle? We've got two things two left. Two things left. Right, and I hope one. to God this is still recording. <laughs> the next one hope is... Got the, sour. the original Red Hot. Ooh. Red Cinnamon hot. flavoured candy. Ooh. And Mr. B does not like cinnamon flavoured things. I don't like cinnamon this flavoured things. This is going to be fun. This See, might I, be where you want to turn the screen off and no, not look at us I, I am I'm really looking forward to trying some... Hold on, hold on. How much is cinnamon's in it? I'm really looking tr forward to trying some really hot things. I've got some um, Carolina Reaper peanuts on order. Um, and we've got some really, really hot chilli crisps that I'm going to try in, a, in another video. So I do like hot stuff. I just, I'm not keen on cinnamon. Right, there, there is no cinnamon in this accord. Is there a Scoville chart on that? A Scoville scale? There isn't. No, well, but they're it, not, not going to be that hot. It, it does say red 40. Red 40? Which, which, which worries us as an ingredient. What's red 40? I don't know, but it doesn't sound good. No, if it doesn't say anything like scorpion chilli or Carolina Reaper chilli or anything like that, then it's probably not going to be that hot. Come on, get them open, let's try one. I wouldn't be too sure about that. I'm not a big fan of cinnamon, so are they just little? They are like. Oh, they're just like little jelly beans. Don't need three, and then two. Put them there. Have a one. Have a one of them. You ready? In and north, in, in and see who can last the longest. You know, it's a hard coating on it. You know, people smell it. There's nothing there. Ready? Three, in and who two, can last the longest? One. Are we sucking or chewing? Sucking. Oh god, that's cinnamon. Kind of through that. Kind of through that. Solid. Mmm, cinnamon. Oh. Mm, don't swallow. Don't swallow. That hurts. Does it? You got enough cinnamon on there. Swallow your spit with us in a minute. I've already swallowed. I just... 
I really don't like cinnamon. They're supposed to be hot. Breathe fire, it says. <laughs> Can you, these are not hot at all. No. With a cinnamon. I think if you took a couple and ate them, where you use it just took one. So do three. You're supposed to do a few. Mm. No. You can dab in the bottom. It's the cinnamon that gets me. I'm not really that keen on cinnamon. Right, oh, so. So the original Red Hots. I'm sure, what, what, what is it? It's a, a contradiction in terms? Yes. Mm hmm. Advertisement. False, false, false advertisement. Because they're not hot. They just taste of cinnamon. Mm hmm. Which Get rid. You, I think if you put three or four in, they might be hot, but. No, I don't think they would. Just wait, we try the Carolina Reaper. Oh, you wouldn't try I'll them. I'll be you? trying that. Carolina Reaper peanuts. Right. I'm going to have a look so we can get that cinnamon. I'm all right. Wait a minute. So, are we down to the last thing with producer Michelle? We certainly are. And what is it, producer Michelle? Cry Baby Extra Sour Bubble. It's a good film, that. Yeah. Cry Baby. I like that film. <laughs> so, oh, it's extra sour again, James. Do you think it's just on the surface or all the way through? I don't know, because bubblegum can be deceiving. So there's red, blue, yellow or green? Take your pick. I fancy the yellow one, because I like I like citrus. I'll have the green. You'll have the apple. I'll have the apple. Well, and I, I must admit, I'm not keen on bubblegum. Can you get it one? <laughs> no. Without using the scissors? Do you want yeah. the James Daniel effect? That's one way. To, oh, you cheated! Nope. That is the way to get into them. They, sure. are, they are a rough coating, unlike other bubble gums where they're only smooth. Ready? Now there, man. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Oh. You've gone. You've gone. <laughs> <laughs> Have it somewhere there, Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just read the name of that again. <laughs> Cry, baby. What are you meant to be doing? Oh, God! <laughs> Holy crap and a cracker! <sighs> oh, oh. <sighs> why do I do this to myself? <laughs> you get past that sourness and you're into the bubble gum, it's a really nice flavour. Oh my goodness. I think the outside's not sour. What? The outside's not sour. I think it's when you bite into it. I didn't it's, bite into it's it. It's sour it. liquid inside of it. <laughs> I think why they call cry babies. <laughs> I wish you could do it. Right, so what are these called again? Cry Baby? Baby? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Cry Baby! We we'll love you. Extra sour bubble gum. See, I'm not a fan. Once I get to the bubble gum, that's it. That all the fun's gone out of it. Well, yeah. I think we should use the last two up. <laughs> what, you want me to go through that again? Yes. <laughs> There's no fight in even two. Holly and Lily? No, because then Charlie will want one. No, Charlie, no, he's not allowed to put the gum. Are you really going to put the kids through that? Kids will love it. <laughs> We're going to keep these two for the grand. I might even, I was going to say I'll record the grandkids, but we can't. No. No children on this channel. No. Um, initially, very, very sour, <laughs> as you could probably tell. 
Um, but once you get through to it into the chewing gum, it's um, quite nice. It's quite mm. quite nice to eat some chewing gum. Mm. So, is that it, producer Michelle? That's it. Uh, are you quite quite finished now? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed that little video. They're trying American candy. Um, not keen on the, the Hershey's chocolate at all. If no. that's your favourite, then I apologise. Uh, I'd much rather stick to Cadbury's chocolate or um, Galaxy ch uh, chocolate. Um, there will be others to come. We are planning on doing another one of these um, American candy ones uh, in a couple of weeks' time. So watch out that. Hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget, please click the subscribe button down below. Leave a little comment as well. Tell me what your favourite American candy is. And we'll be back with you soon. Till then, thank you for watching and bye for now.